We're interested in cell cycle control, uh, how in healthy cells the cell cycle division is controlled. And this is basic cancer research because once we know how a healthy cell divides, we can then look at how that is misregulated in cancer cells and hopefully target cancer cells without harming healthy cells. We feel that this is really important because this is fundamental cancer research, so we're not looking at a specific type of cancer, but we're looking at processes that are deregulated in possibly all cancers. Uh, and what we find might be applicable, therefore, to target all cancers rather than one specific one. Specifically in cell cycle control, we're interested in transcriptional regulation and how that's involved in controlling cell cycle division and then how that is involved in maintaining genome stability. And those are both two main hallmarks of cancer, which is loss of cell cycle control and maintenance or loss of maintenance of genome stability. We use three model organisms in the lab. It's two different types of yeast, budding yeast and fission yeast. And those are, those are distantly related yeast, evolutionary, and whatever we find in those two yeasts, we then translate to the mammalian system, which is human cell lines. Uh, we use a wide range of technologies, ranging from molecular biology to cell biology, um, and we use mammalian cell lines as a model of cancer. With this idea that cell cycle regulated transcription is at the basis of cancer initiation and development, and what we found is that it has a very important role in the survival of cancer cells, what we want to identify is genes that encode for proteins that are essential for cancer cell survival and not for healthy cells. So that's kind of the holy grail in cancer research. Identify processes that cancer cells rely on, but that are dispensable in healthy cells. So if you target those, you'll selectively kill cancer cells and not harm healthy cells. So that's what we're hoping our research will lead to. We believe that the work we do in the lab is a very wide range from very fundamental research in yeast to more applicable work in mammalian cells and we're going to take that even more uh, into a more translational direction uh, discovering drugs. So we think it's a very good training opportunity for students to start with something really simple like yeast to do a few experiments in yeast to find out how the cell cycle is controlled and then they can take it to the mammalian system and if the project is going well, they can even take it into a more translational uh, direction, which is very exciting. Apart from running a research group here, I'm also being very involved in promoting gender equality at the LMCB. So one major aspect actually of my job is to ensure that the LMCB is a, not just a good place to work, but it's very diverse and inclusive.